and Dr. Sridhar Kalyana Sundaram. In this quick video, we will be discussing the use of the intradial carbon dioxide detector or colorimetry method to confirm endotracheal tube position in the airway. It's a very important tool and it has made life much easier. In the olden days when we were training, we didn't have this and we used to have to listen over the stomach, over the chest and as you know in small babies it's often difficult. The air entry may be difficult to perceive, the heart rate may take time to improve but we have found this to be the quickest and easiest way. So uh, the ways to confirm a successful intubation include rapid increase in heart rate, a change in color of the ETCO2 detector which is the main topic discussion now and other less reliable methods like air entry in the lungs, absence of air entry in the stomach and improving saturation. So these may take time and they may not be as accurate. So this is the ETCO2 sensor. The purple color is a normal color. Remember that some of them may need a small uh, paper to be pulled out or a tag to be pulled out before they become activated. So depending on your manufacturer, be aware of what is needed. When it is in the airway, the carbon dioxide content makes it turn yellow. So we can remember it as S, uh, Y for yes, which means the color change to yellow is what we expect. There are some situations where the carbon dioxide detector use is not reliable. Of course, the most important thing is if you forget to pull out the tag, if it is needed to be pulled out, uh, you may have both false negatives when the tube is in the trachea, but that doesn't change color or a false positive where the tube is not in the trachea, but the color changes. This is less common. and. Uh, what are the situations where you may have a false negative? So inadequate ventilating pressure, if the gas movement is not adequate, especially if the lung is very stiff and it hasn't opened, if the lung is collapsed, if there is bilateral pneumothorax, there is less air movement, if the heart rate is very low, so that means the circulation coming back to the uh, lungs is very less, so the carbon dioxide isn't returning out, any low cardiac output state like a stillborn baby, an obstructed endotracheal tube where the gas is not coming out. So in these situations you will have the tube in the trachea but the color change will not happen. Uh, or it may happen slightly and you are in doubt whether it is happening. When it is not in the trachea but the color changes, this is usually due to a defective device where it changed color in the package or if something has spilt on it like epinephrine, surfactant, atropine or gastric secretion contamination. So it's very important if anything is contaminating, you should replace it with a new one immediately. Normally I don't remove the endotracheal, I mean the entitled CO2 detector immediately because it can slip during the resuscitation process even if you are using a tape to secure it because the securing may not be as stable when you do it in the labor room setting and we usually tend to remove it when we come to the unit. So it's always handy to keep it with you even if you remove it for the dead space uh, reason because if you are in doubt you can quickly connect it and check its uh, level. So what to do if you are sure that the tube is in the airway like you are an experienced intubator but repeatedly the uh, CO2 detector is not confirming. Then you can hold the tube securely and use a laryngoscope blade to visualize the tube is passing between the vocal cords. This is not easy, you need to be really careful so the tube doesn't slip out when you are putting the laryngoscope in. If you are in doubt and the baby is in a critical condition, you should remove and uh, replace the endotracheal tube. That's the best approach. Uh, this is a simple video as I mentioned and uh, it should be useful to you hopefully. Please do subscribe and share. Thank you.